Bloxers is the 3D puzzle game, where you have to reach on the special checkpoint. There are 10 different levels. The first one is the easiest one, where you got no problems moving on the floor. It gets hard level after level. There are glass puzzles and moving puzzles as well. So, you have to find a way to the final checkpoint. Sometimes there are many ways to finish. Sometimes, there is the only one. There is skip level function. As well, point 3D Bloxers is an iPhone and Android games app. Today, it has gone through many iterations by the developers, with the latest current version being 1.0, which was officially released. As a testament to the app's popularity or lack thereof, it has gathered a total of three reviews on the Apple App Stores. A 3D puzzle game that the objective of the game is to get the block to fall into a square hole that is at the end of each stage. There are 33 stages to complete. The player will play as in block, and will use the arrow keys to complete the objective of the game. If the player falls off the edge of any level, the level will restart. Orange tiles are first seen in level 13, and are the most fragile than any piece in the game. One standing vertically on the tile, the player will fold. The aim of the game is to get the block to fall into the square hole at the end of each stage. There are 33 stages to complete. To move the block around the world, use the left, right, up and down arrow keys. Be careful not to fall off the edges. The level will be restarted if this happens. Bloxers is a straightforward yet addictive game move a block around a floating platform using the arrow keys, dropping it through the square hole to finish the known level. That's it. Simple since it sounds, the known amounts get a grown number of taxing, though we are able to assure you they are all solvable actually. Later levels find you splitting your block into two controllable parts separately, utilize the spacebar to toggle between them. Besides that, the rest is pretty personal explanatory. Bloxers is an addictive puzzle game that tests your logic and patience. The aim of the game is simple, you must direct the block into the hole. With 33 levels in total this game has great playability, and will truly test your brain. Using the keyboard arrow keys, you must move the block across the level, and place it in the hole this might seem easy, but you must account for the position of the block, the obstacles in front of you, and the position of the hole. Be careful to not fall off the edge of the level, otherwise you will have to start from the beginning, Furthermore, be sure to position your block carefully as it will only fit in the hole one particular way. As the levels progress, you will encounter a variety of obstacles, including bridges that require a switch to activate, and tiles that disappear if you land on them. Can you complete all 33 levels and master the blocks? This game has a variety of blocks throughout the 33 stages to complete. The following are examples of the block types crackle blocks, parenthesis blocks, orange tiles, the circle blocks, for example, open or close trapdoors. Alternatively, the parenthesis blocks teleport your block and split it into smaller blocks. Finally, the orange tiles break easily and cannot cope with the block standing vertically. Look for the exit hole and ask us how you can get the block to fall through it. You must engage these special tiles as you play and figure out how to use them to your advantage. This game is truly testing see if you can get the block into the square hole on each level. The aim of the game is to get the block to fall into the square hole at the end of each stage. There are 33 stages to complete. To move the block around the world, use the left, right, up and down arrow keys. Be careful not to fall off the edges. The level will be restarted if this happens. Bridges and switches are located in many levels. The switches are activated when they are pressed down by the block. You do not need to stay resting on the switch to keep bridges closed. There are two types of switches. Heavy X-shaped ones and soft octagon ones. Soft switches, octagons, are activated when any part of your block presses it. Hard switches, X, require much more pressure, so your block must be standing on its end to activate them. When activated, each switch may behave differently. Some will swap the bridges from open to closed to open each time it is used. Some will create bridges permanently. Green or red colored squares will flash to indicate which bridges are being operated. Orange tiles are more fragile than the rest of the land. If your block stands up vertically on an orange tile, the tile will give way and your block will fall through. Dot. Finally, there is a third type of switch shape like this it teleports your block to different locations, splitting it into two smaller blocks at the same time. 